Hi, everyone. It's Eli so Double Tap here. Me and Kings are going to get together and do some commercials. Are you really? I, I you have know, such a fun. good fucking voice, man. When I man. turn the radio, oh, it's on Don't Sound Dead Inside. Yeah, it's pretty fucking... But now it's back to dead inside. Yeah, I we're like back that. to... We was, that that was a hard <laughs> turn back to I don't want to live. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I have no soul anymore. That's me. I'm I the can junior. tell. I come here. I'm like, ah, we're getting a podcast. There's going to be a video. I'm going to do my hair. Get style. Batty's like, I'm going to wear a jersey. And then Donut is what like... What the fuck is wrong with how I look? I brushed my beard today? I know. I, now I'm going... You did not brush that. That is the <laughs> worst. It, there's a chunk missing out of the right side, Batty. No, there's not. No, there is. There's a chunk right <laughs> There's a giant chunk no, it's out of mine. I took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> now you're self-conscious about your beard. Hold on. <laughs> What's wrong with my beard? No, 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 no. Fucking chunk or is... you can't say I brushed that and then have okay, that. Okay, okay, listen, it's it's fine. <laughs> look at it. We're good. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It was just tucked in there. It's still red. We got no shit in <laughs> red. <laughs> <laughs> Then we got Donut. He just rolled out of bed and walked downstairs for this podcast. My beard looks house. good, man. Everybody. Fuck you. Wearing the same clothes I've worn the past two days. <laughs> Hairs, no gel. This is where a good friend would be concerned. <laughs> but instead, we're going to make fun of him. As I watch him pour whiskey at Ranch noon. water. Ranch water. <laughs> You're right. We should be Have concerned. you given up? Ranch water. <laughs> Have you given up? Ranch water. <laughs> Okay. We're just the worst this product is why placements ever. They're why never going to sponsor, sponsor it. The, yeah. do you they don't. Them? They don't <laughs> sponsor. Please sponsor. They don't us. sponsor us. Yeah. Do you a running joke the whole time? With running is that it is running. like this is why they're not going to sponsor us though because we've already we've put in the work. Do you feel Ranch depressed? Water. Are you low on life? Ranch water. <laughs> <laughs> it won't fix anything. Lunch <laughs> rotter. Twelve <laughs> ounces of happiness. <laughs> Now we've been, well, everyone's just working all the time, streaming, playing Tark. Well, you guys just play Tarkov 24 I mean, I just play Tarkov. Do you, yeah. Cody does other, Donut does other things. Oh my God, dude. The new computer plays it so smooth. It's nice. Are I'm going to get into it. I'm quitting everything else and I'm becoming a Tarkov streamer like Batty. Nice. Yeah, quitting. Wow, you've given up on life I'm really up hard. Up I can I'm see that. Like, the clothing, <laughs> the. But now you're Tarkov just playing breakdown Tarkov videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tarkov. Oh my God. This is where I got fucking smoked upon spawning into the map. Let's see what happens. So like, in a row. Okay, I don't want to you know, poke the bear here, but like, remember that time you killed Landmark in Tarkov? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys heard about the time I killed Landmark in Tarkov? I don't know if you've heard. You should about do a that. shooting breakdown of that. I should. Oh my god! And name the video the time I killed Landmark in Tarkov. Landmark <laughs> sucks. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sixty nine thousand four hundred twenty just blaze kills. No, I have nothing against Mr. Landmark. I've never met him in person, um, but it's just I killed him one time in dorms. He was toggle peeking me, and I ran around the corner with the MP seven. Yeah, uh, no, it was the uh, the v VSS, and I had the SP six ammo. Oh, in that there. was MP seven. And I was just like, <laughs> and just mowed him down. And then what he does is like he takes Tarkov so seriously. He's one of the best Tarkov players in the world, by the way. If you don't know who Landmark is, he plays is. way too serious. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He yeah. plays a lot. And um, <laughs> what he does if he dies and he feels like I don't just anytime he dies, he takes his uh, the clip of him dying and he rewinds it and he tries to break it down frame by frame. And he did that when I killed him. It was just funny because I'm garbage at the game and I just oh him down. god. <laughs> Zex killed Nick Merckx on COD in Warzone match. Well, yeah, yeah, I heard about this. Yeah, it was just like he was a little angry. He was. He was. He was definitely angry. You mm. bitch. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> whatever he said. That's one thing about Call of Duty that will forever be the greatest invention for game. When you kill somebody, you have that like that two seconds or that second of oh what the fuck. When, then it cuts them yeah. off as <laughs> they're complaining about dying. And they they die. They're like in a corner camping, and then they're like you run in, and you like mow them down real quick, and like fucking camper, and you're like, you're the one in the corner, bro. <laughs> a fire going, bro. I'm breaking down your tent now. What are you talking about? <laughs> you're trash. I killed you, bitch. Or you always, sometimes you know we've had it where <laughs> where we killed. It was the last circle. We killed everyone and we killed the last one. And he's like, ha, huh, it's a bunch of lumberjacks running around killing us all. That was it. And I was like, okay, I ain't even mad at that. That dude. was a good one. <laughs> he's just happy. He's just happy. Yo, you the real Matt Best? Yeah. I. <laughs> like that happened in post <laughs> It was just, I, uh, yeah, he was just that. Okay, I'm cool with dying. And then you're like, God damn it. Every other time though, just bullshit. Hackers. You suck. You just. 
You, you died. Literally died in the video game. There are some suspect stuff. I've I've even done suspect stuff where I was like, because well, you're oh, a hacker, a hundred percent look like one. I like one where I'm just like, you're not that good at games. Exactly. I'm so bad. I never have to worry about calling a hacker. <laughs> I've like, had ones at Gulag. I was like, wasn't noticing. I was playing in the Gulag. I was like, da da da. And I'm like talking to chat. I'm like, oh shit, Gulag. I just hit Q. I was spamming Q. That's it. I was. I just, saw this. This was a clip of this, right? Yeah. And yeah. I was just spamming Q, talking to chat, and I I always try to throw whatever Q is, and it was a knife, and it was like, hey guys, what's going on? And the knife just goes and kills the dude. I'm like, <laughs> I look back. I was like, oh, I just won. Oh, that guy's gonna think I'm cheating off of that one. <laughs> Because replay, it's like, I'm just like staring at a wall. He runs and I just throw the knife instantly, just headshots. Oh my God. I was like, oh yeah, that's a cheat right there. I I remember me and Kings have both been called hackers in Tarkov before. And it's like, have you just sit here for (laughs) 30 seconds and you will see how poor I am at this fucking (laughs) game. Like, dear God, sir. I lose most of the time. Don't Come say, on. You're good at first person shooters. I was, yeah. Yeah. Like coming in, I mean, you're, you're always just like great at Tarkov. Like from like that was one of my favorite things that people used to talk to me about a lot when you first started playing Tarkov with like me and Kings a lot. To like now, people are like, dude, as soon as you figured out the maps, learn the maps, you were God mode half the time, man. You're so good at Tarkov. Thank you. Oh my God. You're good at shooters. Yeah, I did that. Uh, yeah. I did the Modern Warfare one with you guys and was destroying everyone until uh, Freddie Wong came in. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, was on, <laughs> I, was, I was on the leader, like at the top, and then Freddie Wong came in and just started fucking my shit up. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? That was the most random day, though. That was during the charity stream last year. Oh, when we all played COD together? Yeah. And I ran around and we did the RPGs. We did that. Yes, we did. And, and I made everyone my everything. fucking bitch. And Freddie, Freddie and D, that was mm-hmm. the most D- random occurrence. Yeah, they, they, we ran into them. In I game. did. Yeah. No, you remember? I couldn't get in your guys' yeah. lobby. It kicked me to a different one. Yep. And they were in it. And I was like, hey, uh, Freddie, what? I was like, wait, 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 what the fuck? It's like, Freddie? And he's like, Eli? I was like, wait, why is Freddie <laughs> and D playing in a match? And they're like, how did we get looped? I was like, uh, we're doing a charity stream. Do you want to join? And like, Sure. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and they just joined on. That was like the most Severus. random. Yeah. Most random occurrence of people just yeah. locked in. Dude, getting to d- meet Freddy was like, uh, I still fangirl thinking about it. Am it's I, not good. Were you there when he was watching Danny sing? Oh my God. I when, uh, Okay, I, I, I haven't met Freddie in person yet. Well, no. Danny Warsh, not uh, Lisa. Asking Nick. Alexandria. Uh, Lisa no, Nick. I didn't see him meet, meet him. When he was, Danny was singing, mm-hmm. and Danny's just singing over there. Everyone's like <laughs> chatting, having a good time. I look over at Batty, he's just like this. I was literally just like, I was sitting there like, so for everyone who doesn't know, we did, uh, we had a bunch of us over at Eli's house, and Danny Warsnop, the lead singer of Asking Alexandria, one of my favorite bands for the longest fucking time, was there as well. And he just started singing on stream with like eight of us in the room, and I just like turned and I got like the big puppy dog eyes and I was like, oh my. Oh, that was your birthday, right? No, no, no. This was, yeah. uh, what, what was, why was I here? We flew down. No, it was the BRCC grand opening. Yeah, it was the grand opening for oh, me. Yeah, 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 I was there. Just but I, I was just fangirling like a motherfucker. And I, this wasn't even the first time I've met him yeah. either. That was the first time I've been in the room when he was just singing and I was like, <laughs> Batty always plays it cool until afterwards. So like, yo, what's up? Oh my Danny god! Good meeting you. He walks away, and then <laughs> Batty turns to me and he's like, "I just met Danny. I'm like, I'm Freddie Wong. Uh, I'm like, I got to run a game. I got to run a D and D game for Freddie Wong, and that was. I was like, I, I was so chill for the entire thing. And I remember talking to Eli after, and he, you made so much fun of me. Dude. So I was like, oh my god! I still, it's still fucking. It fucks with me, man. I, <laughs> Dude, I've been watching these fucking dudes. Like, I've been watching Freddie Wong's videos on the internet forever. Yeah, it's weird. I know. It's trust me. <laughs> it's still weird to me. You were in video Freddy's game high school, weren't you? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, season. He's three. one of the the shitty snipers, right? Yeah. Weren't you a shitty sniper? I was on the the ba- the bad guys team. Yeah, was the four, the law. The four mains. I was one of the mains on the like the front row of the bad guys team, and I was the sniper plus a business guy. Like earlier in the season, it was a weird. <laughs> It was a weird so transition. so fucking random, dude. Awesome. What the fuck? We had a good time, though. I was super excited. Tarkov. Tarkov is, I don't know. Tarkov's a hard game. Yes. I think, uh, Tarkov Absolutely. is like, the learning curve is. Like it's legal. a fucking cliff. Yeah, it's a learning cliff. Yeah, a learning, a learning cliff. cliff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a learning curve. It's like, stare. oh, it's a first person shooter. I got this. Oh, there's no tutorial. 
How do I? Uh, what do you mean I, have, I died? I lost my gear. Wait, where how do I throw a grenade? What do you mean I have to check my mag? I'm out of ammo. I can't just reload. What do you mean? Yep. What, what do you? Go to what's 762 by 39? What's a 545? What? Yeah. <laughs> 554. If you're not familiar with the game Escape from Tarkov, we're talking about if you die in the game, you lose everything you have on you gun, armor, bullets, everything. And you have to like match bullet calibers to the mm -hmm. guns. It's not like you can just pick up some blue ammo and it magically goes to your blue <laughs> gun. You, you gotta find. You gotta know that your your M4 takes five five six. You gotta mm -hmm. know your AK takes seven six two by three nine. You gotta know your M1A takes a three away or seven six two by five one. Like you, you need to know this because there are some ammo types that are close where if you put the wrong ammo on the wrong gun, it will look like you're fine, and then suddenly it doesn't work, and then you're dead. Yep. You just can't shoot. <laughs> you go into the game and you do, you have the wrong ammo. And then yep. vice versa, if, if you have shitty rounds. Yeah, mm. because there's different types of ammo. You have your armor piercing ammo. You have your regular bunk ammo. You have your uh, hollow points for shredding flesh. Like, yep. so if you're shooting hollow points at a dude with armor, you're just not. You're just stinging him with bees, and he doesn't give a fuck, and he's gonna kill you. You got a leg shot him if you have like oh, leg man. Yeah, running around leg with metal. shotguns is still my favorite thing to do in that game, and I just blow people's kneecaps out. <laughs> Straight up, I was doing it all day. I was running with grenade launchers and shotguns like a piece of shit, dude. That's awesome. There's like this new shotgun in the game called the, the KS-23, which is like basically a four-gauge shotgun. It's like an old artillery barrel, and you just run around with this fucking tank of a gun, <laughs> and you just, if you can hit somebody in the legs, they like, their legs blow out. The ragdolls are the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> the they just face plant in the ground, and they die. <laughs> Their legs are gone, That's and it so is awesome. my. It's the like you run into the biggest, fattest gear dudes, and you just pop out. Your legs are gone. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you don't kill them, they can't move very well anymore. They're, no, they're just like, they're like oh, they panic, try to run for something, <laughs> just pop out, hit them again. I'm like, now you're dead. <laughs> yeah, in Tarkov, you uh, you don't have leg armor, so you can spend a million dollars on your helmet and your chest but your gun your, your legs, ammo so. your meds everything you need for a raid but your fucking thick fat delicious juicy legs are there for the <laughs> taking they're gone mm. they're gone and that's a, like that's one of those hard games and i don't know about you guys but like getting those super difficult games it's games are either getting harder or easier as we get older i, I don't games know. are not getting easier I don't know. Uh, well, Games are not getting easier. harder because, you know, we got Tarkov, like we're talking about, first person shooters, and then like I mean, Dark, all like Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Like that. I mean, Dark Souls isn't new, though. It's not, but like. But Dark Souls 1 is not newer, a new game. But I mean, it's newer. It's you're right. There's a newer Dark Souls out there, but that, that, that game isn't new. But it's 2010 past, so it's this decade, and okay, that's when okay, you've okay. seen that shift mm -hmm. of people. Because I think there was that time period where games held your hand, like. Tutorials oh, sure. would literally oh, man. just... You had to play tutorials. You yeah, had to. And Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Demon Souls. Do you actually guys know the proper name for that first one? No, no. I don't play those fucking games. They're rude Demons to you. They Souls. Hurt you. Uh, Demon Souls. Is that just like a bad translation? I don't know. I always thought it was Demon Souls, but then I read the cover for the first time ever, and it was like Demon's Souls. Oh, God. Is that like, like a Mandela effect thing? Like the, yeah. the Bernstein Bears? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Bern or is it the Bernstein Bears? <laughs> is, which one is it? Those games were like that first time where it was like, yo, people want hard games and mm -hmm. everyone bought into mm -hmm. it. And they were like, yo, okay, this is how we want it. This is like super difficult. You had just that time period from, I think, PS2 to late PS3, early PS4. I didn't fuck with the PS3 nothing. at all. Uh, I skipped a, a PlayStation generation. Yeah, I mean, that I, I was so too. hard in too. on Xbox at the time. Like, I, I I won the three Xbox 360, so that that was all I did. But think of a hard game on that system. I mean, at that time, I was just living the Call of Duty and Skyrim life, mm -hmm. like Skyrim, Oblivion, and then Call of Duty. That was it. Yeah, <laughs> that was. They yeah, didn't I went have from 360 to PC. Yeah, Same. exactly. Uh, I had an Xbox One, but I was already on the PC when I had the Xbox One too. I kind of did it both at the same time. I just think recently that's when like you had like Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Cuphead, mm -hmm. and they started introducing these harder games. Fucking yeah. platformers, dude. <laughs> Hurt me, Daddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hurt me more. <laughs> Hurt me more. MMOs have gone the opposite direction though. Because uh, World of Warcraft, especially, used to be hard as shit, and you didn't know what to do, and now it holds your hand. And I think I think that's can... it's a different audience though. It's catering to a different audience. Yeah, yeah. but you know they're trying to get the new generation into it because we don't need that help. We've been playing MMOs since their inception. Yeah, this new generation isn't used to to that type of game, so they need to 
open them up and make them a little easier to jump into for them to kind of get hooked. Because we're honestly like, look at it this way. We're looking at a generation that is growing up with mobile gaming for the most part. Oh, that's yeah. true. And you need to find that transition from a mobile game to a MMO. How do you get somebody who's used to everything being on their phone or in that case, you know, playing a console to getting them hooked on a PC game so they need to bring, I'm not saying they, they're dumbing the game down, but they're making it easier to get into. There's, you look at the, the your end cap of, of WoW, still your MMOs. Mm. Shit's still fucking hard, man. Yeah, it is true. not easier. Like it's game easier games. to get to end game and learn about end game, but yeah. end game's not easier, I don't think. And that's a, those end games, well, now you literally just buy your character all the way and up you get, to You get a free jump. You get a free to, jump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, I got to grind 10 levels. And that doesn't take long at they, all. They anymore. know people want that end game. So they're trying yeah. to get people hooked before they're like, if they can get them in on that first expansion, they'll just buy the second expansion and they'll grind. They'll yeah. grind out to that one. Mm -hmm. But you need to get that, that that initial audience hooked before. In the games, MMOs start at the end game. That's why I've always oh, yeah, hated it. And that's the hard, that's probably why like, all of us hate it is because it's that level 60, the 60 grind or whatever mm -hmm. it is. You know your character class after first 10 levels. Yeah. And now you're like, now I just have to grind this out for a shitty story. I don't give yeah. a shit Same about it. Same, same quest, quest. Yeah. same quest. <laughs> Go collect ten bear asses, bring them back. <laughs> okay, now I need three pieces of corn. Uh, the kobolds drop them out there and kill field. twenty kobolds. Yeah, <laughs> and then, uh, but not the gray ones, the white ones. The gray ones don't drop the corn on the cob and uh, bring that back. Then okay, here is twenty pieces of gold and uh, a thousand experience. And you're like, cool. Yeah, 14 you, more fucking times within an hour. Yeah. Otherwise, you cap out. Sorry. Dude, that makes me think of uh, on World of Warcraft and the Barrens, there's a famous quest for the Horde where you have to collect beaks from these ostrich-type creatures, and you need like five of them but there's only like a 5% drop rate. So you oh kill 100 God, of these fucking dude. things that clearly have beaks, <laughs> but only 5% of them drop their goddamn mouths. <laughs> oh, God. You always think of the random stuff those characters would drop. You'd be like, and I killed an ostrich. You got mustard. <laughs> <laughs> why do I got mustard now? <laughs> The fuck? Why, why is he carrying mustard on? Like, none of the loot table ever made sense in those games. You got candle wax. I just, <laughs> why does this ostrich have a dagger? Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. What did you eat, sir? Fuck <laughs> okay. God bless those old games. It's, it's not old games. That's new shit, too, though. Like, no, that is true. You know, like, n weird loot tables have never changed. Like, I remember playing, so I tried getting back into Elder Scrolls Online for a little bit because I'm such an Elder Scrolls fiend, and I just, like, I need more. And you'd kill fucking, like, tigers and shit, and they're just spitting out armor. I'm like, did you eat somebody, sir? <laughs> Were like, you wearing the armor? Like, that was not an armored kitty I just murdered. What the <laughs> fuck? That is true. Those old MMOs, it's like you killing a dragon is giving you pieces of armor. I think some of the later ones did a little bit better where you had a, you got the crafting materials. And Four then, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or you then, like named like armor that was built off his scales and yes. shit like that. Yeah, and then yeah. You're like, okay, this makes sense. I remember Final Fantasy XI, it's like one of the most expensive pairs of boots was uh, Leaping Lizard Boots. And it's just a lizard. Why do you remember Leaping Lizard Boots? Because it's the name. Because you had to kill the Leaping How Lizard. How much Final Fantasy XI did you play? Way too much, like <laughs> 70 days in game. There's a shitty level five or level six lizard that was out, and you kill it, and it dropped leaping lizard boots. The, at least it matched the name, but they were a perfectly pair of boots that you got to put on right after killing this creature. But it's like stuff like that where you're like, ah, this, maybe just give me the skin and then I'll craft the whole thing. Okay. I think yeah. Monster Hunter did that well, though. Like everything was crafting materials for, to, to make cool shit, or. And the weapons did, look like it, too. Dude, the, the equipment, weapons. I wish I enjoyed oh, Monster cool. Hunter more. The weapons in Monster Hunter were the coolest fucking things in the world. When you killed the <sighs> dragons and you made a sword from that dragon material. It was a dragon tooth and your claw or yeah, some shit was made of color. bone. Yeah. I was like, oh. this is baller. Like all the armor looked like the creatures you killed. And yeah. Like, this makes sense versus majority of games. Oh, and it kept you on like your armor look gangster. Where you go in a lot of MMOs and it's like you have patchwork running around. It's like yeah, I have my flip flops on before I have like transmog and shit. Yeah, dude. I have a pair of <laughs> pantalones that are pink. I have awesome armor on. Yeah, I have fingerless gloves and like uh, a mohawk. real man. Real yeah. men wear fingerless gloves, yeah. by the way. 
and you have to walk around in that embarrassed and is <laughs> i hated that in him it's like walking around looking like a banana it's but same best, time best you, people you would make fun of you for your goofy looking ensemble and then you'd shit fuck them yeah <laughs> so you'd oh, be like <laughs> hello sir you look like an idiot and you just snap their neck i'm like now who's the idiot dead guy <laughs> Jesus, man. I don't know. I love old hard games. They're, I still think old, old games, NES, you missed that era of fucking difficult games. Thanks, That's the Dad. thing. You didn't know. He doesn't know about Nintendo. Jason on Nintendo. Jason. Freddy Krueger on Nintendo. Ghouls and go- Super uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. Hot Guns on Sorry, Nintendo. I was busy looking at Laura Croft's triangle tits and fucking Tomb Raider nerds. Okay, that T-Rex was scary as shit on that first Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> the it really stuff. was. Do you, I remember I was one of the weirdos. I had a Sega Saturn, and that was one of the first games I got on it was Tomb Raider. Wait, wait, and was that, Okay, okay. I'm going to get me yelled at. Mm-hmm. I already know it. Was the Saturn or was it the Genesis? That had the little screen memory cards and the, the fat ass controllers. Dreamcast. That was Dreamcast. Dreamcast. It was a Dreamcast. Yeah. There we go. Never mind. Okay. No one had. I don't think I knew. My buddy had Dreamcast. that thing, dude. The Dreamcast was so Dreamcast? ahead of its time. Oh my god. It was like, so sad that that taxi? console just flopped. It was so good. They, really? What's crazy is they went when Sega canceled or anything because they didn't take off. They dropped that this console price to like fifty bucks a console. It was literally like dirt cheap. Mm-hmm. You can probably find them on eBay for like thirty or forty. Dude, the bucks Dreamcast right? was. So ahead of the fucking oh, game, yeah. and it flopped so goddamn hard. It was why, so. Why do you think it did that? I'm sure there was a reason. That I just don't know it. It was the first system that had like Fantasy Star Online, mm. online capability. Dude, it did shit. everything, and the Man. games phenomenal games for that system. It just PS2 crushed everything when it came out. When the PS2 launched, they were like, "Yo, we have a PS2." Oh, this is this is just gonna crush everything, and that's what happened. And then I think Xbox came out at the same time, so it was just trying to compete with those systems, and it wasn't as powerful, even though it was cheap. Just people didn't want it, and they were like, "Uh." But that system was phenomenal. Hmm. Like Sega Saturn. Yeah, that was. I don't know. I was the only one that had that. Everyone else had a Nintendo sixty four because I think the the Sega Saturn released around the same time. I yeah. think. Yeah, it was around the same time. I didn't have a 64. But the Sega Saturn did have the, the games where you had the little gun and you could shoot at your TV. Oh, yeah. Virtual Cop. It was yeah. Virtual Cop. Virtual Cop was funny shit. Dude, I love it. Virtual Cop, Need for Speeds. Vir- it, Sega Saturn had some really good games. Like mm-hmm. going, I mean, out, out the launch. <clears throat> But it was like Sega, Sega CD, and then the Sega Saturn came after yeah, the Sega CD. There was a Sega CD. That's another obscure one, kind of like the the Dreamcast that like no one really. Had. So I was just looking, kind of looking it up. Like the Dreamcast failed partially due to terrible advertising, I guess, where they were competing against the PlayStation, and they were just like, "Go ahead and buy a PlayStation, but what about the Dreamcast?" <laughs> <laughs> like this is terrible. <laughs> and it, it, there were, I guess, financial issues at Dreamcast caused them were making them like. A, a pain to make or some shit. I don't know. Like there was a whole bunch of like I was. There was just like ten reasons why they failed so bad. But one of the reasons they failed was they had online architecture long before anybody else. Like mm. people just didn't understand the technology. No, because it was literally they had a modem built in. Dude, it's the a, Dreamcast the- was cool as fuck, man. Two, oh, they also had no EA Sports titles, which all the other consoles had. They had to use 2K games. Oh, remember? yes. That's why. Because they didn't have the rights to it. And they're yep. like, no, you have to make your own series completely separate. Sega CD had the Dolphin game on it. It was the first one to have the Dolphin game. Echo Dolphin. Echo yeah. the Dolphin. Yeah. Well, they had a bunch. So you had also, if you want, a weird system was the Atari Jaguar. It was the first 64-bit. Oh, bit. yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Oh, I remember mm-hmm. that. Atari Jaguar. 64-bit. It was to rival the Nintendo 64. It had some of the most trash video games you will ever ever find especially the fighting series they had like they tried to rip off mortal kombat they were just like oh we're gonna rip off mortal kombat games and they just made like the lineup of fighting games was like ted the janitor and it's like (laughs) ted comes from a he's a janitor and he's like and he has a broom (laughs) and it's like dude with gun it's like i remember the box now yeah that guy what was dude what was the 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 handheld oh man gear was it a Game Gear? It, was, Game it, Gear? it looks like a Nintendo Switch, but it was fatter. The Game Gear was gigantic. It was like a handheld thing, right? It was a, it was, that was a, you could put Sega cartridges in it. No, it the wasn't Lynx? that. Lynx! It was the Lynx! My uh, so stepdad nervous. had a Lynx that I used to fucking steal, and I would just hide in my fucking basement playing that shit. Yeah, because oh that had a bright-ass screen. It took yeah. like 16 Double D batteries. 
It was like Dude, just, it was, <laughs> it was just like hooking up a, a car battery to it. Like <laughs> sweet. And then uh, the th- not the th- no the three do I think was the the expensive dude. No, the Neo ne- Neo Geo. The Neo Geo. Oh, Neo, your Geo. The Neo Geo was like the best ports. It was an arcade port home console. So like all the games were like home ports when you got them. You're saying so many things I haven't heard in so long, but like I can kind of picture them in my mind. I was not born yet. Neo Geo, this is like, so they had Samurai Showdown. They had like Street Fighter and they were like complete. How do you remember this shit so well? Because this is my Dude, I don't remember (laughs) my childhood that well. (laughs) What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. They're expensive, bro. Those games, they, uh, Donut. Coming out, those games were seven hundred dollars at release. The video games were seven hundred dollars a piece. Oh no, crap! Well, okay, so in, in nineteen eighty money, that's like a thousand, mm-hmm. two thousand, three thousand. That's a lot of money. A Neo Geo console with twenty one games on eBay. Guess how much? Twenty k. Thirty thousand. Twenty five k. Price is right. Yeah. I win. Low slot going over. 25k and that's open that's not 20, that's not sealed games. that's nothing that is open what the <laughs> fuck dude, dude? <laughs> that's not sealed that's nothing that is just open hey here we are and you're like hi yeah dude i i just fucking played the shit out of game boy stuff like i had an n64 then i had a ps2 and the amount of game boy stuff i like i was a game boy kid that's what i did because i was always getting kicked out of the house Fuck you, dad. Look what I do now. Ha! He used to yell at me all Got the time. Him. Being like, you're not going to make anything if you just keep playing these games. <laughs> Send ah, my dad. Mexican dad. <laughs> you still don't understand what I do. And you still he offer know me you. help. Weirdo. Yeah, yeah, my white dad's the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I send him pay stubs. I'm like, hey, <laughs> Suck this show dick, Look at this. <laughs> Dude, my dad tells people I do porn. He's like, what do you do? People watch you online. I'm like, yeah. He's like, it sounds like porn. I'm like, okay, but I, I'm wearing clothes. He's like, mm, sounds like porn. Your mom thinks we do porn. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah. I've definitely been asked if I'm gay. Yeah. I'm not nothing against that, but, but he's, I love boobies. Dude, boobies. That's <laughs> why Donut has a nice pair on his back. There we go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <Just> tattooed. You. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my man. God. What? Um, Ranch water. <laughs> <laughs> God bless. These people will never sponsor. No, they're never going to. Who should we Who should we bully into being on the podcast to, to shill ranch water for us? Oh, yeah. We need to find guests. Yeah. We've had people like, you need X, Y, and Z. I'm like, but like okay, but people that we need to no matter out the gate, let's lower expectations. Okay, let's donut, just, who do you want? That's reasonable. Who we could actually no, get fuck on the that podcast. anybody you want on this podcast? Anybody? Post Malone. Okay, you said you said anybody. Let's get Post Malone on the podcast, dude. It'd be like we sit on your two lap. Where do, where do our guests sit? Do they sit on your lap? Yeah, absolutely. I'd want them sit side by side and hundred percent make you have matching tattoos that day, so people can <laughs> see <laughs> how close you guys look. We could do all our doppelganger. I'll get, we'll get Seth Rogen then. And then I'll get uh, Joseph Gordon Lovett. There we go. And we're good. So we'll just have that. <laughs> imagine a, we have a podcast one day and all three of them are sitting here. We're just us. staring at each other like. Ugh. They're like, why'd you guys do this? We just wanted our doppelgangers. We don't actually care about you don't as talk. individuals. <laughs> just <laughs> Post, could you shut your fucking mouth? <laughs> just, Seth, okay, Seth, <laughs> don't laugh. Seth, Stop. <laughs> please. <laughs> 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 If we're going to really have somebody on the podcast, we're here in Texas. There's content creators all around us. Yeah. That's why we came here. Demo? Yeah. Well, character. Yeah. Dem- Demolition Ranch would absolutely come be on the podcast. Oh, I was going to hand you. Okay. So, I think Demo would be a fun one. We can make that happen. Mm-hmm. Guys, we could make fun of him for being such a filthy casual gamer too. Yeah. Go on to his last post and bug him until it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Just ruin, ruin just some bullying? of his content. Is this yeah, bullying? We're bullying people. That's, our, that's what we do. Being we bully. Here. Oh, okay. we, uh, his brother's here too. Drewski's oh like God, the biggest Drew- gamer ever. We could get Drewski, get Drewski on, here. on here. He oh, have you seen nerd. his mustache? <laughs> dude, we could have put I him saw next it a while you. back. Is he still growing it's, yet? I mean, it's a dirt. It's like Eli growing mustache. a beard. It's never going to get any better. You know, it's there. <laughs> it's there. 
It's there. He's not. We could easily, <laughs> dude. We got Operator Drewski. So we got demo. We got we got we got you know Drewski. demo range Operator Drewski. We got best of course. We got we got all the BRCC here. fucking yep. boys. Yeah. Best is definitely gonna come on because yeah. he's like we already know he's a huge he's a nerd. fucking nerd, dude. Yeah, Holy people are shit. It's that surprise. Everyone's like, he, wait. He plays video games. It completely yeah, blew me away. He's six foot two, good looking, an amazing singer, musically talented, driven, and everything. But yeah, he plays video games too. Fuck. Sweet. <laughs> you mean every day he doesn't just drink whiskey and shoot miniguns and hang out with hot girls in bikinis? Really? Well, no, he does that every other day. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking mad. Be but, good at everything. They gotta be good. And he like crushes a war zone too. Like he, the games he takes serious. He is goddamn good at them. Like that's why I'm like, oh yeah, homeboy used to play tournaments and stuff growing up. Just nerdy old Matt. I was like, God, we would have been such good friends growing up, all of us. Mm -hmm. There was another dude that just visited that was a big gamer. Fuck, who was it? No, um, you know, Disaster, eighteen Disaster. Nope. He runs a meme page. He's a ranger. And oh, he was on the Free Range American podcast. Yes, that other shitty podcast. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. If you've Boo. never heard of the shitty podcast, Free Range America, <laughs> absolute terrible. Not sure who even's in charge of that one. We could have Evan on here too. I guess he's oh. a huge gamer. He would just shit on us the oh, entire you know time. Who, you know who's been asking to come out? Uh, Leon Lush. Oh yeah, uh, Leon wants to come. I out. fucking love that human so goddamn much. The tomato. Yeah, tomato, tomato mafia. mafia. Mm -hmm. Dude, Leon Swagger Souls would probably come out. I'd, I'd have trouble not fan drawing a little over Swagger yeah. Souls. Just I like a know, little. So I'll be fine. He wears a helmet. It's you fine. Swagger Souls? Oh, buddy. He's like, the best Hi. rapper in the game. Oh, see. Wellen yeah. just entered the chat. Okay, yeah. listen. Well, do you know Wellen? We might be able to get Wellen now. Wellen's yeah. a friend of mine. Yeah. Dude, we just good. got, yeah, we just got a. I mean, there's, we got connections, right, well, man. This whole oh, podcast clean. is going to be Hi, clean. <laughs> off, <man>. <laughs> clean. <laughs> Clean's only five minutes away, and we did, didn't mention it. And him. he's, yeah, we're like, uh, we got Freddy, definitely will be on it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, will, Will would come on. Yeah. Who? <laughs> I'm kidding, Will. Love, Love you, will. you. John? John? Your, yeah. your child? Huge, My son could huge, be a this, uh, like He, he could never a, listen to this he podcast. He runs a Roblox Enterprise. He does. Oh, that's a good story. We're, I'm not. I'm not going to tell the whole story now. <laughs> but we are going to have John on and his. It, okay, he I don't know what he's fine. doing. He can't hear us. We're going to have John on one day, my 11 year old, because he stole nearly five thousand dollars from me <laughs> and spent it on Roblox. Robux. Robux. For, for, he spent. It's a game Roblox, but he bought Robux, which is in-game currency. And we're not going to go too much into it, but he's balling on Roblox. Dude, I just I just want him to sit next to us and be like, so Robux, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna tell him, him shut down. because that's what he does. He like shuts down when he starts talking about Robux because he's so ashamed of what he did. <laughs> As he should, As he be. should be. Yeah. Oh my god! And Could you imagine the whooping? The whooping if you if you not first of all if your family had that much money, but like if you had spent that much money or any amount of money that you weren't supposed to spend. Like I remember getting yelled at like on my phone, my old brick Nokia, when I'd accidentally go over my minutes oh, when I yeah. was like 17 and just get, whoa, just screamed at I'm like, I sent one text message over the limit. That's like 40 bucks. Thanks for Verizon. Like, I remember I broke somebody else's skateboard or something happened and my family had to buy a deck for that person and it was like, you didn't eat bucks. for a week and they were like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, do, what did I do? I didn't mean to do it. I'm like, that's $60. Like, okay. Now I look at it, I'm like, man, riding spoiled. Every, like, I'm yeah. like, God, these kids will get away with murder now because of this. But whatever. Yeah. I mean, I still hit them with like a sack of oranges. Yeah. Because it doesn't leave yeah, bruises. Yeah, it doesn't leave bruises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of so course. He, you know. I stop. Riding doesn't understand. But it's fine. He's, he's, <laughs> we, we have figure out new methods for punishment. I don't have children. <laughs> mm -hmm. When are you gonna have children? Let's just Pump no. The breaks. I don't want him. I'm a ginger. We're not supposed to reproduce. <laughs> Literally, it's frowned upon. You know, it's frowned upon. I don't need this continuing. I was a I was a terrible child. I never wanted to deal with me. Who else did we move here to hang out with? 
I don't even. I know we're forgetting somebody, and we're, we're gonna for, yeah, fucking yeah, it's someone crucified. cool that we hang out with all the time. Probably we get crispy on here too. Crispy we get good. crispy. Oh my god, he's so bad at games too. Yeah, it's, oh. a, it's the burnt fingers. I know it's it's the nubs. <laughs> the nubs really do it. He was with us was two <laughs> nights ago, and we were, he joined in the lobby. And he's like, oh, you guys have a full, or we weren't even full. We were waiting for somebody to join. Yeah. And uh, they were like, you want to hop in? And he was even like, ah, nah, you guys nah. have two spicy lobbies for, for my ELO. Because he's tried to play with us and it's like, okay, go. And he like steps out. It's like, <laughs> so like for whatever, <laughs> for if you don't know what that means is a lot of these games have skill-based match, uh, matchmaking. And if you play with a lot of really skilled players, when you go into games, it matches with other players that are super fucking good. So unfortunately, if you're the shitty friend in the group, you get matched with people that are really good in. Yeah. You just kind of get bent over the whole time. So it's like, unless you're into getting fucked. Yeah, because it's such a difference. And that's why people are like, how do you get good at? It's like, you play don't. with higher elos and then learn to move to keep cover. Because we're in diamond lobbies now. All our player base is like diamond. So it's like everyone's a f- fucking monster at war zone everyone's just if you're in bad positioning if you're running out if you make a mistake they'll capitalize on you, you get killed oh yeah so we get f- fucked dude our buddies come in they're like oh this is gonna be fucked right and they're like what happened <laughs> it's like, it's like we, how you doing today bait because yeah, <laughs> that's what you are <laughs> right in the open what do you think was gonna happen that was a terrible push and we get to see we started doing um viewer war zone lobbies because you can do customs oh, now. Oh, man. That's rough. Well, we just get a change. So the rule is we just you hit random, and that's your team. So you don't get to choose your teams. But we did a wager. We were doing random. We join in. You play <clears> with <throat> the individuals. And you get to see the play style of everyone else. Because we play aggressive. Oh, yeah. Like, of course. Aggressive. Most games, aggressive is the way to go. And they're like, I'm landing. And I'm already like, okay, we're ready. And they're like, uh... Does anyone need a knife or a grenade? I found both on the ground. I was like, why the fuck are we having this discussion? We need to be <laughs> going. We gotta move. Wait, right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm yelling at people. I'm like, come on, what are you doing? I see AFK. We need to kick him. He's AFK. He's just he's looking <laughs> Dude, at a wall right now. We've been here for you're like, 10 get seconds. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so aggressive on this game. And uh and we were having fun. Everyone's like winning or whatever. Everyone's losing, actually. But <laughs> then we did a wager. It's like, okay, it's Callie, Zex, Matt, and me versus every other team. Winner gets $500. Who's Callie? One of our other buddies we play with. Callie's like, Callie, I don't know. He's just, his character, he's like, hey, man, what's up? Yo, oh, so he's from California. Yo, uh, yo, yeah. Like, okay. I was like, Cal, you, you high as fuck as you play. Dog, I don't smoke weed, yo. I never. And he gets in his vehicle, and it's a weed camo. <laughs> and the paint job turns to the weed camo. I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> you don't smoke, you say. Because... Huh. Or twenty. He's like, nah, it's just a joke. Ah. But he's a monster. <laughs> monster at the game. Like, homeboy Rex. God damn it. And we were like, us four, everyone else, winner gets $500. Winning team gets $500, $100 a piece or yeah, whatever, yeah. 150 a piece. Plus, we'll, uh, Matt was going to donate $1,000 to any charity of their choice for whoever won. The charity of my So wallet. every, dude, instantly, it was like, we all landed. You just see every team's like, kill them first. <laughs> <laughs> we murdered everyone. It was like everyone. the Hunger Games started real quick and you were being hunted. Yeah, we murdered everyone. We won. They were like... And then the next round, we're like, okay, we'll change the rules. We'll do this. All you versus us. Murdered. And then oh, after that, we're like, okay, we can't do this anymore. This is not you're fair. Just never bull- just you're like- bully. <laughs> yeah. you, know you know what that was? Pub stomp matches back in the day. It was. It was when a pub stomp When you were a ranked match. good player and you'd go in and just fucking murder the fucking... Do you remember Christmas noobs? Oh, yeah. Because right everyone, cri- everyone got their Xboxes and PlayStation. Brand new. new right after, it's like the, the two weeks, three weeks after <laughs> the Christmas. The old noob harvest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Straight up. It was the great January was the best month to be like a good gamer, whether it was Call of Duty or Destiny or whatever the fucking new game it was or old game. Oh, my God. You never felt better at a game than like a month after Christmas. Mm-hmm. Mm. There was just a video about that with the new Star Wars game because it came out free. Yep. The whatever the battle one is or what, the battle, battle one mm-hmm. battlefront. I think that's the new one, right? No. What's the. um where there is Jedi that's like a special unlock. Battlefront 2? 
Yes, maybe that one. That one became free a week ago or two weeks on Steam mm-hmm. or whatever platform. Also, everybody got it. So then the new yeah, harvest exactly it came early harvest. this year. <laughs> that was one of the clips. Was it's like I love new players, and it's like somebody running at a Jedi. And the dude's playing a normal character, and he just waits for the Jedi by a corner, and the dude lunges, and he just steps, and you, dude, you just see him fly off, off a cliff. <laughs> yeah, off a cliff, he just eats himself off a cliff. He <laughs> looks down, and he just runs away. I was like, oh, yeah. That That's so rude. That would have been me right there. Fuck. Is there any other good games you guys are looking forward to playing soon? Dude, Hitman... Three, 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 three just, just, came, just out. came out like two days ago. That was one of those games that I grew up playing a ton of. Hitman 1 and mm-hmm. 2, or which one was Blood Money? Hitman Blood was Money. Two, wasn't was that it? two? I think that was two. Oh my god, that game was wild, man. Shout out to Sheriff Eli for that clip oh, you that sent. Clip was <laughs> Holy <as> shit, <laughs> man! He's dressed up as a uh, Undertaker, <laughs> yeah. And he goes to the bush. He's like, he's, it's like they're they're looking for an Undertaker, but they'll never know. I'm already t- a county away, and he turned into a clown and just Ronald ran McDonald off. and ran off into the sunset. <laughs> I love Sheriff Eli, guys. Please go follow yeah. Sheriff Eli and watch his live streams. He is the funniest person on Twitch by far. Comedy gold. You sent that. I was dying. Wait, Sheriff Eli's in Texas. <gasps> oh my God, he's in Dallas. Yeah, is he? Yeah, he's in Dallas. Yeah. I think. Uh, Sheriff Eli, please come be on our podcast. Has anyone seen his face? Yeah, he no. goes. He goes to cons dressed up like a cop and shit. It's fucking awesome. Oh, that is oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. He wears like the fucking wide brim. Like, yeah, yeah. I a hundred percent would love him. That dude is comedy gold. Yeah, he's like, amazing. Mm-hmm. I've only done a couple things with. I played a few. I forget. I think it was with you or with. Uh, no. Tarkov. Oh, yes, I, Tarkov. We, we all played Tarkov. Yes, I, I, played Tarkov I, I wasn't there for. I didn't get to play them, which is really a bummer because he's another one that's really cool. Oh, and Matt was there. That was Matt Best on that stream too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we, we had Matt. Tarkov, was clean part was it like a sweaty five man thing because clean yeah, plays with him all the time. We were on yeah. labs. We did labs with him a couple times. Yep, that was it. Okay. Yeah, that was fun. Sheriff Eli is a great guy. He got his start from uh, Grand Theft Auto role playing servers, didn't he? He yeah. was because he's a cop. I, I don't know if he got his start from it, but he he Explo- blew up. That's what made him because he yeah. he would RP a cop mm-hmm. on he on was the amazing server. Amazing. People would like try to stream snipe him and shit to just to get the interaction and shit. It was wild, man. GTRP, fuck, shit's crazy. You know, hit. I might have to play Hit Man. I don't know. Like I'm playing Dragon Quest Nine right now, which I'm actually. How many Dragon Quests are there? Apparently nine, but I'm gonna. I, I think that's like Street Fighter, where they say there's five. I mean, Dragon Quest Seven. <laughs> there is Quest way Seven more than five. Came out in like fucking 2005, so there's there's got to be more in there. We're at Street Fighter Five. Just remember that there's technically Kay. only five Street Fighters, minus there's actually 40 or 50 of them. If you look at like no shit. Yeah, because you go like Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Turbo, Street <laughs> Fighter 2 Japanese Turbo Edition, Street Fighter 2 Street Fighter Edition. Street and you Fighter get like Capcom. I wish I was jo- Look up how many Street Fighter 2s there are. You're going to be like, oh, Eli's, no, Eli's telling how me. How many <laughs> Street Fighter So was that your two. shit growing up was fighter games? Like oh, that? bro, I can murder in some fighting yeah, games. Yeah, I've seen you play Mortal Kombat. You, you like destroyed my 11-year-old. <laughs> He came to me. He came to me that night after you beat him so bad. And he's like, "Dad, Street I've Fighter Two suicide." <laughs> no, you Street got, Fighter you, you Two destroyed what his ass. I, was I love seeing him being humbled. Yeah, I was like, "Do what, what do you want me? I'll beat you with uppercuts alone, John." And I did. I was yeah. just like waiting for John. <laughs> he likes <laughs> <"You're laughs> like, too close. Too close. I was just- <laughs> too close. <laughs> I will humble people in fighting games. Oh this is my God. jam. Like, like, John, John's over there like looking like he's going to cry. And I'm like, you remember that one time you called me out for having a dead girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> this is what that felt like. Kid. Exactly. The smile. <laughs> so real quick, Walk Street up. Fighter 2 games. Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. Street Fighter 2, Champion Edition. Street Fighter 2, Turbo Hyper Fighting. Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2, The New Challengers. Super what Street Fighter 2, fuck? Turbo. So we're on the second Turbo. Uh, Hyper Street Fighter 2, the Anniversary Edition, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, and Ultra Street Fighter 2, the Final Challenge. Why is 2 so good? <laughs> well, that's what they do to all of them. They're like, we're going to make one. What the fuck? 
and then we're going to change it slightly and charge $50 every time. <laughs> and you're all going to pay for it. Sound like titles from like the Rick and Morty alternate universe TV shows. <laughs> Two brothers and an armada of aliens and grandma. They just keep adding words. Like I said, here's oh, 50 bucks. We have 50 bucks. Yeah. Pretty much. And that's what I love. It's like, do you remember when games used to be like, what, 30 bucks? Dude, uh, yeah, dude. Game, game Boy Advance oh. games used to only be like twenty. Do you remember when uh, Electronic Boutique, like EB Games, EB Games, they, would, they sold oh. used computer like PC games, but they didn't realize you could like clone them and take them back. Yeah. And so I would go in there, I'd be like, Oh, Half Life. Oh, this, this, this game. And I'd go clone <laughs> them in my DVD drive and bring them back and be like, I don't like this game. Oh, and like, okay, dude, EB Games. I forgot all about EB Games. What are they? Uh, no, you know, Babbage's. Babbage's was before EB, EB Games because Babbage's turned into, into EB, EB Games. games. Yeah. yeah, and then they sold, I think they sold out to GameStop. I would assume that yep, was, it was GameStop, GameStop that took over everything. And then GameStop died. Yeah. No, they're still alive. Yeah. I went and bought Pokemon cards that one two they days ago. Full, they were Not. bankrupt, didn't they? They filed for it. I feel like they, they just closed a metric fuck ton of stores due to COVID. That. Yeah. <laughs> you, you yeah. Would take in. Uh, I don't know, four hundred dollars worth of games. They'd be like, "All right, you can get a fifty dollar game off Store of this credit. credit." Yeah, it's like here's forty five dollars cash, or it was a pawn shop. For Sixty dollars <laughs> in <laughs> store like Pokemon credit. cards are gambling for children. It was just yeah. A I pawn just gave shop. you an RTX thirty ninety, and you gave me thirty dollars in in game <laughs> currency. What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Buy some sweet jets on Roblox, <laughs> yeah. like my son. <laughs> Fucking it, hey, man. Babbage's is such a. Yeah, I love going to those, that and rental stores. That's a whole different episode. I think we'll save that. Going to rental stores was such a. That's good. too old for my blood, bro. You didn't go to. Yeah, okay, you got to remember. I grew up in Vermont. Rental stores. Video game rent rentals. Oh yeah, absolutely. oh oh, like, yeah, like blockbuster. 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 Okay, okay, you sorry, sorry. I, you can I, even rent Nintendo sixty fours and stuff from Blockbuster. I know. I forgot about that shit. Yeah. Jeez, dude, that was uh, like yeah. that set up a weekend. It was like Friday oh, after man. school. Yep. My dad. That was my. That what was, was your go to store every Friday? It was called Nils because I grew up in like rural. Well, I mean, mine, mine was like a Showtime video. Yeah, it was called yeah. Nils, and my dad would pick me up from school and he would rent me one Nintendo game every Friday. And you know, Nintendo games were hit or miss back then. So oh, sometimes yeah. you would sometimes get one and it was just fucked for fucking a week. terrible for the weekend. It was so, all cover art back yeah. in the day. Mm -hmm. Dude, the boxes, oh man. And then it's a garbage fucking game. Yeah, that, yeah, and that's what the worst part was is like a lot of the garbage, like it would look so gangster on the cover. You're like, this game is going to be the greatest game of all time. And then you play it and you're like, <laughs> I fucked up, dad. Dude, okay, the Simpsons <laughs> games on Nintendo. <laughs> Had the best cover art, and I watched The Simpsons with my dad like twice a week. But those games on the Nintendo were fucking garbage, and I was stuck with them for forty eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> so I just I just started after a while. I like I like got taught my lesson and started just renting Super Mario World three every single weekend for I want, like a year. You're like I just want to know these old games like some of the the box art. Batty, look up Mega Man one oh. box art because I swear the artists they were just like. They just hired a team or an artist, and they're oh, like, you "Make a man one." That. Yeah, and you're like, "Okay, what's the game?" They, the artist didn't ask questions. They were just like, "It just said Mega Man one," and the dude just got to interpret the title yeah. and draw it how he wanted. <laughs> Lasers and man in space suit. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'll gun. hold up a picture on this. I mean, we'll we'll throw it up on yeah. the on the screen. But, but it's but. like it's a dude in a gold and blue outfit with a a nine millimeter pistol, which <laughs> Mega Man has. No Arm guns <laughs> with like space Miami in the background. There's peaches in the ground and palm trees in the background. Like, and that was all the art back in the day. It was just like nothing to do with the game. It's like, what uh, is that? Does face? Mega Man use a pistol? Sure, now he does. I mean, yeah, Mega well, Man Two wasn't any better. I mean, at least he's blue. Yeah, and he still has a gun though. <laughs> I just love he always has a gun. I mean, I think I think you can like attribute all that to just the cash grab for how big video games were coming in that era. It's like uh, you know Super Mario World Two, how it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. That was never meant to be a Mario. No, game. Nintendo was or someone was making a game, and Mario One was so successful. They were like, well, we found this other thing. Let's doki put, Doki. They were like, let's put our Mario characters into it and just say it's Mario World 2. And that's why Super Mario World 2 is so fucking weird and makes no sense. It's, I had no idea. So yeah. Mario 2 was Doki Doki, uh, Doki Doki, Escape or Doki Doki, Action. I forget it. It was Doki Doki something. And what had happened is they created Mario 2 for Japan. And it's literally Mario 1, 
harder version of Mario 1 yeah. did really good in Japan. They did a test in the United States with it. And then that's when the American uh, dude, I forget his name, that was part of Nintendo America, he was like, yo, this is fucking hard. No one's going to like this. Like, this is just America dumb. America, yeah. This is Mario 1, just really hard in different levels. So the Japanese were like, well, uh, oh, let's reskin Doki Doki. And it's a, all, it's a separate game completely. And they're like, mm-hmm. just reskin this and put Mario characters and call it Mario 2. And they launched it and it did really good. And they're like, oh, see, we fixed it. We, we made Mario 2. <laughs> Doki Doki Escape Expansion, whatever it's called. And that's literally what happened with that I entire thing. I had no thing. idea. That's, yeah. Glad to know that so we're weird. all still fucking stupid. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Dinosaurs with big whole mouths spitting out eggs everywhere. It was so weird. Like it had nothing to do with anything. Flying tar pits. Yeah. Like yeah. Bowser was not a boss. Mm. Really? Like, yeah. yeah. I don't I I don't know. I Bowser was that's the only one Bowser's not a boss. Like, period. He's just not in the game. Yeah. And it's then, a toad thing. Yeah. And then three was just a work of art. Three God, was, I could go back and play with Super Mario World three anytime, any day. Three set the tone. Watching speedruns that's Freaking ridiculous! Oh too. yeah, guys! If you've never watched the Super Mario World three speed run, go watch it right now because it's only like eight minutes long. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's only it's like eight minutes long. <laughs> Jesus man! They get the first flute off the second level, and then they skip to the last thing, and they just the skull hand grab, and then they're yep. good, and they're like, "Okay, we're done, and we're golden." That's <sighs> wild. I mean, I think that, that that's it. That's that's all. I think that's where we're gonna. That's all, all right. she wrote today. That was Sweet. a good one. That was yeah, a fun yeah. one. You're a good one. You're not a fun one, though. Say bye to everyone. Batty, what, where can we find you, Batty? It's Batty, Batty streams, streams, right? Fuck off. Oh, Batty I streams. Hate everything about all of you at except gmail. for. Gmail.com. <laughs> yeah, Batty streams at Gmail. That's not Batty it. Batty streams. That's at not Instagram. it. Instagram. Stop. Angelfire. Angel, <laughs> Angel Fire. Oh, <laughs> Geocities. Do you remember <laughs> Hotmail? Mm. Mm. Hotmail. I still have one. Uh, yeah. Hi. I'm Batty. Goodbye. Batty streams on Gmail. Uh, not Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> we got to say it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eli underscore double tap. God damn it. Bye everyone. Dog nut here. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and done. <laughs> <laughs>